Good morning, Marcus Conti, accidental whistleblower, accidental journalist. Still a plaintiff, pro se plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. You can check it out if you want. So, I was watching, um, you know, YouTube yesterday, and I'm I'm surfing around, and I see this uh, I see this this clip of a football game, Army Navy. Actually, I, I live close to a fort. I, I live close to Fort Hamilton, which is a very uh, small fort in New York City. I think it's the only one, only active army base in the uh, in the area, the immediate area. I think they use it mostly as recruiting. But uh, it's still an active uh, active base, and uh, it it I saw the sign up. It said Army versus Navy, right? Army beat Navy. That's what the sign said. Right? The flag, because it's it's an Army f it's a football game. Now, I don't know anything about football. All I know is what you know. I know a lot about football. I'm I'm lying. I'm an American. I know everything. I could I could watch a football game and I know what's going on. I know all the rules. I know who's who's winning. Well, you know. I know everything. I know everything like the next guy, right? But what you know, with this whole thing about uh, this this uh, young football player Fitzpatrick or Fitzgerald, whatever the fuck his name is, him him kneeling down for the national anthem. Now you know that was that was uh, I found it very interesting, and I think it's I think he has a right to free speech and free expression and all those things. I don't think he denigrated. The country one iota. In fact, I think he made he made he made people look at what what it is to be patriotic, what it, what it is to be um, American. And he was saying, well, you know, Trump Trump is on TV bashing Mexicans and you know and, and making Muslim bans and and building walls and and here are the you know the Clintons rigging an election, stabbing Bernie Sanders in the you know. You know, engaging in in uh, corrupt activity with with emails, holding, you know, quid pro quo, selling off, selling off our democracy to foreign investors to a foundation. Right, so he, that's what he was seeing and saying. And uh, so anyway, I was watching the, you know, the national anthem yesterday. I didn't watch. I didn't watch the actual the actual football game. I watched the the uh, national anthem. But I watched the national anthem, and um, what did I see? I saw, you know, I saw patriotic Americans, you know, P people, young people, young people of all different, you know, colors, shapes, and sizes, are singing out in the snow. And they're 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 like a family, you know. It's like a, like <clears throat> they're like they're warriors, you know, and and you know they're and, and I I think that that's that's who you know that's who fights the wars and that's who you know we throw on the front line to keep the money machine going and i think you know when we call ourselves democrats or republicans you know the, the democrats are you know the, these people these young people are fighting for democracy they're fighting for the 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 uh, ideals of american life you know the pursuit of happiness Liberty, the Constitution of the United States of America, free speech. That's what made us great, you know, throughout the years. That's what that's what my grandparents fought, you know, and, 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 you know, represented and wanted to see happen in the, in the world. And uh, you know, and I just think that today's current, you know, Democratic Party is just has betrayed that in the sense of. You know, where they're 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 the ones who are supposed to be defending the the uh, the, the standards of American life and 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 defining it. Rather, what do they do? They rig an election. They, you know, create a spy ring inside of Congress where everything becomes quid pro quo. You know, I mean, George Soros, the people that one of the one of the the, the main funders of the Democratic party guys like George Soros there's others of course there's others but guys like George Soros has said on the record like most businessmen like Lloyd Blankfein the CEO for Goldman Sachs or Jamie Price the CEO for for JP Morgan all these guys are not 
they've they've said openly they're not they're not social warriors they're they're business people they're people that they don't look at the social ramification of their action they don't look to say oh is this going to make the people better or more safe uh, or or happier or you know more content no they look at they say to themselves how much money am i going to make by doing this move like for example george soros when he shorted the Thai bot back in the 90s, you know, the Thai currency, and, uh, you know, he took a short position and made $5 billion shorting the Thai bot, you know, putting 50 million people in further into object poverty. He wasn't considering the social ramification of his action. He was just doing it to make money. And that's who, so when, when all the social warriors, the, the far left, it, see that's what I want to talk about is the that that this this business. I mean, people look at my video and say I'm far right, which is ridiculous, really. I, I again, I voted for Bernie Sanders, and I'll tell you why. Because, okay, so the, the far left is so is so engaged in this in this, you know, it's discrimination, it's color, it's race, it's gender, it's sexual orientation, but. Nobody really cares about that. Nobody really, nobody's taking that away from you. Nobody is, when someone speaks openly against that, that's their right to free speech and you have a right to, to hold your ground, right? But that's not the problem in the country. That's, that's, a, that's a symptom where people, races and, and, and sexual orientations are fighting amongst each other. Why? Because of the... A political class has sold off our country to a, a very uh, elite few, right? So, so you have the Democrats in one one side, the far left, you know, the, the take thinking that they're taking the moral high ground by bashing someone like Trump, who's just saying let's make America great again, right? And is was, you know, the democratically elected president, not like. Clinton, who tried to steal it, all right? clearly tried to steal it. Can't can't deny that. All right? So you have these these folks arguing for social justice and 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 all these things. But meanwhile, they're funded by the 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 uh, the, the political class, the elite class, the corporate class that doesn't care about your social issues. It never did. All they care about is money. So. You become a tool in that in that process. Now, to my conservative friends on the far right, what does that mean? Far right, Conser fiscal conservative. Remember that fiscal conservative trickle down economics. The idea there was that corporations would we would give corporations tax breaks and benefits and and uh, and then in doing so that their profits would trickle down to the little people. Now, that's not how business works. That's not how greed operates. And that's not the, the business model of not a single uh, publicly traded corporation, of the, you know, 15 to 20,000 corporations on the NASDAQ and the, the New York Stock Exchange and the American Stock Exchange. None of them operate on social justice. They operate on profit. Right? So, so to my fiscal conservative friends, right, who are, you know, talking about deregulation and, and uh, corporate tax cuts, right? Most of these corporations don't pay tax. They use corporate inversions. They use various accounting tricks to, to, to evade that tax. And that's the trickle down that was supposed to happen in the United States, right? So the far right, if you really believe in making America great again, you have to you have to hold these corporations accountable not for not 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 regulate them just hold them accountable for the tax that they don't pay now for example one corporation like apple you know evades 35 billion dollars a year in tax now 35 billion dollars has would have a huge impact on i don't know food stamp program for example or 
health care for everybody, you know, that sort of thing, college tuition, right? But it doesn't, it, it never reaches the real economy because they use a corporate loophole, you know, corporate inversion. And, and again, if they don't, look, companies like Goldman Sachs, companies like Apple, companies like J.P. Morgan, they're always one step ahead of the, the curve, right? You will never outsmart them. You will never outtax them. You will never beat them at their own game, okay? I traded the markets. I know, I know, I know the mentality of the market. Every time a, a law is passed in Congress where these, you know, congressmen sit down, they think they're doing... They think they're doing the work of the people and they make this social issue or this this little tax thing that the corporations are going to have to follow. Every time they do that, what happens is a company like Goldman Sachs, for example, has a whole floor, <laughs> maybe a whole building full of young people, young lawyers and young minds that will look at that law, dissect it, and find a way to swerve around it, right? They don't break the law, right? To, to, against popular belief that Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan and Citibank and all these banks and Wells Fargo, most of the time, especially Goldman Sachs, they don't break the law. They bend it to the maximum. They go right out on the edge, and that's where they live, and that's where they ex they exploit the edge of the law, right? And no corp no 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 regulation is going to prevent that. You have to enforce. You have to enforce the laws. That works. You have to take them. You have to handcuff them. You got to throw them in jail when they evade tax. You got to say, okay, your tax bracket is 20%, and we want that 20%. We want that 20%, right? We don't want you to evade it or or push it offshore at the you know Panama you know bullshit offshore tax haven, right? We want that money, right? So that's. So to my conservative friends, it's not a wall around America. We don't need a wall around America. It's not the, you know, the Muslim down the block or the gay in the in the bathroom or the. Right? It it's. So the the the, what is my political orientation is, what I just said, and that that not not that Bernie Sanders. It's not that Bernie Sanders, was those thing was that. Although he had, there's always a, a video of Bernie Sanders on, somewhere being ahead of the game in the sense of political forecasting. But he he rallied like-minded people, people like me, who are, who are basically seeing that it is a financial problem. It's not a it's not a cultural problem. It's not a a uh, diversification problem. It's an economic problem because if you fix the economic problem, then you don't have you know, people don't people don't fight over a loaf of bread when there's plenty to eat, right? So that's what your democratic uh, establishment they need to keep that in place because we just saw those navy kids out in the you know in the army and navy singing the national anthem out in the snow. They, that's that's an all volunteer army without without the poverty in America without keeping you know keeping the crabs in the boiling pot trying to climb out you can't have that kind of force you can't have a military force that goes around and terrorizes the rest of the world in the name of democracy but really what it is it's it's in the name of imperialism and uh, and expansionism so those are my thoughts you know I'm in the middle I don't I'm, I'm of no political uh, position so anyone who calls me a lefty because I oh, oh look Oh, he's Antifa. He's lefty. Look at his long hair. This is my calendar, by the way. This is that's what this is. So I'll talk awesome. more about that. Someday. You know, we all need to, you know, we all need to just get along. We all need to just get along, get along, get along. Peace out.